Hi, this is a quick video to show how you can speed up render times by an awful lot by baking textures, but it will only work on static objects. So if you've got this dog, for example, and you want to um, show it off by uh, moving a camera around it or putting it on something like Sketchfab, uh, then you will want to bake the textures, and I'll quickly show you how to do that. It's got several textures on, uh, light brown, dark brown, white and black, so there's lots of textures there and they're all assigned to different areas of the dog. Okay, and we want to put all these things together. So I'll open up my screen to give it two extra panels and make one the node editor, so you can see what's going on there, and one the UV editor. So this is the normal way of sort of going into paint mode and things like that. I'll come out of render result, so I've just got a blank screen, that's what you should see, and I don't need this panel over here, so I can press N to get rid of that. So this is uh, this dark brown texture on here, and light brown, white, and black, and they're all on different parts of the dog, as you can see. In fact, if I go to textured mode, or in fact, material mode, that should show us, there we go. Okay, so we wanna bake that information. Let's go into edit mode by pressing tab, and then going to edit mode. You'll see it down here as well. Edit mode, and select all. Then press unwrap. And for now, I'm just gonna smart UV project. That should work well on this model. If you have a more complex model, you'll need to unwrap it properly. You can look at other guides on that here. So there it is, unwrapped, there's all the UVs, and I need to project this information onto those UVs. I'm gonna come out of edit mode. You can see that I've posed this with a rig, but don't worry about that, but I just prefer that pose. Uh, we need to create a new texture. Press new, and this is bake test, and press okay. So, there's my image and nothing's happening at the moment. I need to bake the information onto there and then it will become like a painted image on our object. Might as well save it now. So save image as, uh, bake test. There we go. Saved as bake test onto my desktop, I think. <laughs> and then we need to add it into here. So you press Shift A and then texture, image texture. Okay, you can also go down to add texture, add texture, image texture there, okay? And that's how we get our image texture up. And in here, I have my bake test, same as up here. So I'm getting that information down here. You don't need to hook it up at all. In fact, you mustn't hook it up. Just leave it there, have it selected, and then it knows it's gonna bake it to this object here, or this node. Uh, the only weird thing is that if you've got lots of textures assigned to your uh, model, you can see the different areas are painted with different textures, you need to put this onto each of them. So it's baking the information from each of these onto one of these. You just press Control C and paste them in to each one. Okay, so you can see I've pasted them into each one of those. Don't hook them up to anything, just make sure they're selected. So there's one in each of these, make sure it's selected. And now it knows to bake that information. Next we come to the bake. So we go over to our render panel and scroll down to the baking section which is just at the bottom there, okay? Uh, one thing that's worth thinking about, I'll just minimize that, the sampling. Uh, your sample size will matter, so if you bake with a higher sample, it will be higher quality. So let's put that up to 200 for now. And I should be able to press bake. I've got it on combined, so all the lighting information uh, from these three lights that I've got here will be uh, pasted onto it, okay? Uh, there are different options here, as you can see, but I'm going for combined, which is everything, including the lighting. It's a good idea to have it um, with a bit of a margin, and then you won't get any problem with your seams. Press bake, and you'll see this information up here, so it is baking as we speak. And there's my information there. So if I go into edit mode again, you can see all my UVs have been painted. And we can go in, you can see that information. And can you see how the, there's shadows and so forth in different spots? The last thing I need to do is set up a material with that information, this baked information here, that's all on here and up here. We need to put that into an emission shader with this dog. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go back to the materials. I can actually get rid of these now. So get rid of all of those, give them a new texture. And this time I'm gonna get my image texture texture, image texture, and get my bake test, which is there. Okay, and get rid of this one, and create an emission shader, add shader, emission. Where are you? There you are. Plug it into the emission, plug it into the surface, and strangely it's worked. 
um, which is surprising because I haven't actually saved the image. Make sure you save the image and then if you have any problems like it goes black that's because you haven't saved your image. There'll be a little star there uh, that you'll notice if you haven't saved your image. Now when I go to render this you'll see it renders instantly. The background doesn't but the dog does. That's because it's baked. Job done. Thanks for watching.